Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 2A of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page 42. The question number 8 reads, A lift decelerates from 3 meters per second to rest during the last 6 meters of its motion. Find the deceleration and the time taken. So, I've taken the liberty of graphing this already. So, we're saying it's a, a speed time graph beginning at 3 meters per second at time t equals 0 and decreasing to rest at time t is equal to t. Now, we know that the area underneath the curve is equal to the distance. And the curve we have here is a triangle. So we should say half the base by the perpendicular height should give us 6. So half the base is, um, we'll say t over 2, that's the base, times 3 is equal to 6. 3t is equal to 12, t is equal to 4 seconds. Check that at the back of the book. And that is correct. T is equal to 4 seconds. So that was pretty straightforward. Um, next, we'll just use the UVAS formula all the same, just because that's, that seems what, he, what we're trying to be doing. So we, there's, the, there's the formula and the variables that we know. We know that uh, U, the initial velocity, is equal to 3. The final velocity is 0. And the distance covered is 6. So if we use V is equal to U plus AT, will that be any good to us? The answer is no, because you have two variables, a and t, which are unknown. What about v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as? Um, yes, that'll work, because the only variable unknown is a. So we'll go for that. So it's 0 squared is equal to 9, um, plus 2 times a times 6. Therefore, 9 over uh, 12 is equal to a. Therefore, a is equal to minus 3 over 4 meters per second squared. Now, does that make physical sense? The first question is, and it does, because look, this negative sign here means we're decelerating. How do we know we're decelerating? Well, first of all, the question tells you. But look, t1, uh, sorry, the initial velocity is 3. That's uh, v1. The final velocity is uh, 0. That's v2. And where the final velocity is less than the initial velocity, you are decelerating. So that was that was pretty straightforward. By the way, that's, that is correct. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope it was useful. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.